Hi, I'm Willie, and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for coming back. Thank you to everyone for being here. The first thing that I want to talk about before we get to this video is that the network theory, where we're going to start from the, the ground and build up to uh, doing some routing and things like that, um, and well, and more advanced concepts, uh, that is going to start on July 26th. I just want to put that out there. So that is our start date for network theory. So if you don't have an edge router of some sort, use the affiliate links, uh, please, and go out to Amazon and get you one. Um, if you've got a USG, we'll try to, when we get to those exp explanations, kind of compare and contrast, I will be able to show that, but uh, we won't be able to do some of the configuration as easy on a USG as we would the edge router. So um, tonight what I wanted to talk about, oh, by the way, I don't know, if you saw this, but look, huh? Yeah, the uh, the uh, executive came in, and I love it, love it. So, all right, so uh, let's get to the meat and potatoes of tonight's video. So, I have a and pff, Windows. All right, so I I have a I have a Ubiquity Lab, predominantly Ubiquity. Uh, I had a Dell switch and gave it to someone else who was building a lab. And um, I've got some brocade and some other things that I bought used that are going to be cycling in here. But I know there's a lot of Cisco stuff out in the field now, and the Cisco stuff is different. What I'm going to show you is actually run an iOS, and if you're on a newer iOS, like iOS 15, these commands should still be very similar. Uh, the one that I have um, actually uh, is on the shelf, and I haven't configured it. I plugged it in. We've got our USB to serial adapter in there, so we're going to get into that in a, in a second. But we're going to create a trunk between that and... Um, we'll do that and... We do lab switch two, uh, which is the uh, sixty, the sixty watts. So, uh, but this is the switch that I ordered. I don't, I can't remember. I think I paid around the twenty nine dollars for it. Um, I didn't need anything real powerful. I just needed something physically running Cisco IOS so I could do the compatibility uh, setups and, and things like that and interoperability testing. So. This is what I've got. We're going to go ahead and throw a base config on this guy. Get our putty going. Now, if my computer is acting a little sluggish and this video looks a little sluggish, Windows 10 uh, updates came through and I've had a heck of a time getting all the pieces wrangled in here, but uh, hopefully it'll be coming together soon. So this should be COM3 and 9600 so that lower speed so let's see what we've got here okay would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog so this is default this is what you get on the cisco when you plug it in there's no configuration so we'll just say yes to this uh, would you like to enter basic management setup yes host name lab cisco one And our enable secret. Catch me if you can, and we'll see if it'll let us use the same one. As... Catch me if you can too. Uh, virtual terminal password. Uh, we'll just use let me in. No SNMP. Now you can see that uh, it's got a VLAN 1 interface. It's also got uh, one gigabit port here, and the rest of these look like they're fast Ethernet. So this gigabit port is going to be the um, SNMP uh, I mean, the, uh, the gigabit is going to be the SFP port that it's got. Uh, enter, the, enter the interface name used to connect to the management network. This will be VLAN 1. And we'll configure IP on this device, and we'll give it, uh, let's see, we'll give it 192.168.66.6, class C, that's fine. 
Uh, would we like to enable this as a cluster command switch? No. So now this thing has a basic config. We will do number two to save this. So it's going to save it. And if we reboot, then this will, um, you know, this config will stick around. Okay, so we went into enable mode. Enable mode is where we can get into configuration mode. Uh, but we can also do a, a show run. And uh, this is iOS 12.2, which is what came on this. Uh, and this is just a, this is really just a basic, um, a really basic configuration. But what we need to do is we need to make some changes to make it kind of match what we've got going on um, with Unify. So I'm not going to get into Cisco configuration much past this in this video. I may do some other videos on that when the Meraki gear comes in August. But let's hop over to our uh, Unify uh, controller. And we have, of course, VLAN 1, which is the native untag, which is what this would be. Uh, but we don't have a USG, so we can just ignore that, or the USG is not adopted to this site. But we do have VLAN 2 and VLAN 3. So on the Cisco side, what we need to do is we need to uh, configure VLAN 2 and VLAN 3. And to do that, that's all we need to do. Uh, from here, we could do a do right, which will save the configuration. And then um, we will do, we'll do a, oh yeah. So this thing's plugged into a console cable. So every time we make some changes and things like that, it's going to do a, uh, it's going to give us this output. So we're going to do no log console. Log console, no login console. Uh, so now we won't get those outputs anymore to the screen because that is uh, rather annoying when we're just doing a base config and we don't need that information. Um, and the, uh, you only need the do when you're in uh, configuration mode. So we're just in enable mode. So we're going to scroll down and you'll notice that you can't see the actual VLANs. You can see VLAN 1 here, but you can't see those other VLANs because we have to do a show VLAN. And then this will show us the VLANs that are configured on the Cisco switch and which ports they uh, are attributed to. So right now what we'll do is we'll do this. We will do what we're going to do is we're going to make port number one the uplink. And we're going to do, I always do a description, uplink to UBNT. And then we're going to do switch port uh, trunk. Now this is one thing that always kind of, um, kind of killed me. Um, I can do a uh, switch port. Switch Switch port mode trunk, uh, switch port uh, trunk allowed VLAN all. We'll do allowed VLAN all. And I actually didn't get it on this switch, but sometimes on a Cisco switch when we're configuring a trunk, um, it makes you set the encapsulation um, to 802.1 before you will uh, be able to set the, this into a, a trunk mode. So um, what else do we want to do? We want to do um, switch port and then we want to do trunk native VLAN. Uh, we'll do native VLAN 1. That may be redundant there. Right. Now have, uh, if my um, switch uh, was SSH capable and we had that configured and then maybe a certificate the show run brief actually does not show you all the certificate information because it's just pages and pages of, of information uh, so we can see that uh, interface fast ethernet 01 switch port mode trunk all VLANs are allowed so then what we're going to do is we'll do a conf T we'll do fast ethernet we'll do uh, 
description VLAN to test. And we'll do switch port access VLAN 2. And then we'll go to 0, 03. VLAN 3 test, and then we'll do switch port, access VLAN 3, and you're probably wondering, well, what did we just do? So what we did was we set the native or the default uh, VLAN on these, uh, so the access port, when it's, when it's plugged in, uh, whatever's plugged into this is going to be in VLAN 2. The device itself doesn't have to worry about tagging. The switch is going to handle all the heavy lifting. So at this point, it looks like we're ready to plug this guy into, let's uh, look at our devices. Let's look at lab switch two. Uh, we've got on uh, port two, which doesn't have anything, we got networks, VLANs, all, and it is switching. So um, we can roll the dice here and plug this guy in. Let me do that real quick. Okay, so I physically connected Ethernet 1 on the Cisco to port 2 on our Ubiquiti switch. Do a show interface 01, so we see that fast Ethernet 01. Uh, so fast Ethernet, by the way, means um, that this is not gigabit. It is full duplex 100 megabits per second. So... Um, the other thing we can do on this switch, uh, IP default gateway 192.168.66.1, so now it's got a default route, and write and copy run start do the same thing, it's just a force of habit. So uh, our Unify switch now has uh, uh, an uplink. So let's see if this guy can ping the gateway. And there it is. So this switch now has full connectivity. Um, and if I bring up a command prompt here, I should be able to ping. Uh, there it is. So the network just had to do its thing. Um, so I don't know if this guy's got a web browser or not. Okay, so when we bring up uh, 192.168.66.6 in the web browser, uh, you can see that uh, we are accessing Lab Cisco 1. Uh, we can monitor the router here. We can bring up the web console, which is not found, which, I mean, I bought this thing off eBay. I don't know 100% what the condition of it was. It does power up, and it looks like the VLANs and everything work. So if we were to, um, you know, plug something into port 2 and port 3, they would be on the appropriate VLANs. So that's it. It really is that easy to get a trunk going between a Cisco switch and a Ubiquiti switch. So do yourself a favor, spend 29 bucks, throw it in the lab, play around with it. If you've got any questions, put them uh, in the uh, comments below. This is totally out of sequence because I recorded it afterwards. You're going to see the end of the video after this. Don't forget to call the test phone number at 309-857-0188. As always, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Please use my Amazon affiliate links, my DigitalOcean link, uh, private internet access. Get yourself a net tool. And we will see you in the next video.